Hello and welcome to a special first colonial edition of My School Year is in Jeopardy. We know that fall of 2020 is going to be unlike any other start of a school year that we have ever had. We're hoping that today's show will help you feel a little more confident when the time comes to walk the halls of our high school. Let's meet our three contestants who will be trying to solve a series of clues about Patriot Country. First up, we have the real beach kid. Yo dudes, what's up? I live down by the oceanfront, and you better believe that during the first couple weekends, I'm still going to be shredding that gnar like you don't even know. <laughs> yeah, dudes. All right, thank you. And then we also have the LSA girl. It's attempt to enact a gross miscarriage of justice. I would like to remind everyone of our constitutional right to... Ooh, no offense, LSA girl, but we might not have time for all of that right now. Thanks for keeping us on track, though. And finally, he's the one you love to see at games or leading the pep rally procession. He strikes fear into the hearts of the mascots for the other teams. He's the one, the only, the Patriot. Thank you very much. It's an honor to be here. All right. Now that we've met our contestants, here's how the game is played. On our game board, we have six categories of important information for anyone entering First Colonial High School. Each contestant can wager on a clue based on its value. After choosing a tile, I will read the clue, and they will ask the question that matches the clue. Our categories for today are Patriot Policies, Awesome Admin, Superb Specialists, Familiar Faces, Totally Tech, and Extraordinary Extracurriculars. LSA Girl, let's start with you. Okay. I'll take Totally Tech for 100. You got it. This device is essential to class participation and one is issued to every VBCPS student for their use during the school year. Real Beach Kid? Oh, bro, I've totally got this one. Like, what's a Chromebook? That is correct. Now your choice again. Okay, Totally Tech for 200. This technology allows students to access their schedule and grades throughout the year with a special feature that allows the user to email teachers directly. What is student view? Exactly. Next choice. I'll take awesome admin for 200. She oversees the special education and science departments and works as the grade level administrator for this year's seniors. Oh, I know. I've got a brother who's a senior this year. I also heard she's the assistant principal who's been at FC the longest. Who is Miss Shelton? You are correct. And just as a little plug, you'll have the chance to meet all of the administrators as part of our virtual tour on the Class of 2024 website. Next choice. Bro, give me awesome admin for 400. This administrator serves as the assistant principal for juniors, oversees the English and social studies departments, coordinates attendance data, and is one of four siblings, all FC grads. Who is Ms. Church? Great work, Patriot. Next clue. Okay, let me have Patriot policies for 100. When physical school is in session, these devices tend to be distracting and should be completely put away during classes. What are cell phones? Correct. We've been using them pretty freely over the last few months, but once classes start meeting again, it'll be time to put them away. Next choice. Patriot policies for 200. This statement asserts, I assume the responsibility of my own actions and I promise to uphold the honor code of First Colonial High School by neither giving nor receiving help of any kind on any quiz, test, exam, or other assignment that I am asked to do on my own. It indicates the expectation of academic integrity on every assignment. What is the honor code? Yes, that's right. Please keep in mind that any work you submit should represent your own understanding of the material. No unauthorized help. Your turn again. Totally tech for 400. Some teachers use this app, which contains a secure messaging feature and allows alerts to be sent to anyone who signs up. What is Remind? Correct. If a teacher or club uses Remind to communicate with students, they will give you that information towards the beginning of the year. 
Next. Totally tech for 600. Replacing Clever, this page will provide a one-stop login for multiple educational apps. That would be Class Link. You might notice it the first time you log into your Chromebook this fall. Patriot, you get to choose again. Okay. Familiar faces for 100. This department can help you think about college and workforce decisions, course selection, and general life coaching. It contains Ms. Mays, Ms. Wagner, Ms. Schleicher, Ms. Bernstein, Mr. Miller, and Ms. Tomeo. What is the main office? No. What is the school counseling department? Correct. The counselor's contact information is on the Class of 2024 website, and they would love to speak with you and help you navigate any difficulties you may be facing. Patriot? Familiar faces for 200. She helps to make sure that students are involved with sports and clubs that run smoothly as our student activities coordinator. Oh, I saw her on Faces of FC on the Instagram last week. Who is Mrs. Godfrey? Correct. Familiar faces for 400. These valuable members of our school staff help to keep hallways, classrooms, bathrooms, and other areas clean and sanitized, usually with a smile on their faces. Who are the custodians? Great work. You really know a lot of the faces around FC. Thank you. They make it pretty easy. Let me have extraordinary extracurriculars for 100. This year, these will be the first athletic competitions on the calendar, beginning their shortened season in December. Uh, what are winter sports? That is correct. Extraordinary extracurriculars for 600. For a weekend in the spring, motivated students from all grade levels can engage in activities to help gain skills in communication, time management, and conflict resolution, among many other things. Oh, I know this one. I did this in middle school and can't wait to do it again in high school. What is Leadership Workshop? That's correct. Superb Specialists for 400. If you've got questions about the library at FC or research or books in general, these library media specialists will help you check it out. Who are Ms. Clements and Ms. Nelson? That's right. When the school building is open, the library is a great place to do research, visit during your study block to complete classwork, or have lunch. While classes are online, they may be partnering with your teachers to offer more resources. Patriot, it's your turn to choose another one. Awesome admin for 100. This administrator oversees the sophomore students and the performing arts PE and CTE departments and has also previously been crowned Mr. FC. Who is Dr. Drudge? Great work. Superb specialist for 1,000. New to our school this year, but with plenty of enthusiasm and great ideas, she is our avid program coordinator. Oh, I saw our video on the virtual tour. Who's Ms. Brickner? Correct. Avid is a new program starting at our school this year. We're excited to see the strategies that they introduce to help students succeed in and outside of the classroom. Real Beach Kid, the board is yours. I'll take superb specialist for 200. After having taught English classes for many years and coaching multiple sports, he is now our reading specialist. Who is Mr. Stubby? Correct. Awesome admin for 600. This administrator is going into her 11th year as our school's principal, is an FC alum herself, and loves working at the best school at the beach. Who is Dr. Farrell? Correct. And that actually takes us into a brief commercial break. Right now we have the Real Beach Kid with 1500, LSA Girl with 1700, and the Patriot himself with 2000. Take a minute to hear these words from our sponsors, the FC Upperclassmen Student Leaders. Hi, my name is Anaya Domingue. I am a rising senior at First Colonial. 
class of 2021 and I just wanted to create a video welcoming the upcoming freshmen and to give them a tiny glimpse of what FC school spirit is really like. Um, so with that being said, uh, I hope you enjoy this video, which is the virtual do's and don'ts for virtual school. Okay, so our first don't is don't press snooze a hundred times whenever you're trying to get out of bed. It makes for a lazy beginning to the day and you're most likely going to be late for class. Alexa, set a timer for 10 minutes. 10 minutes, starting now. Instead of pressing snooze a hundred times, try your best to get out of bed on the first alarm and then make it immediately so it doesn't look so comfy and cozy anymore. Our second don't is don't log into class in your PJs. It makes you look lazy and you could be so comfortable that you just might fall asleep during class. Instead of wearing PJs, wear something you feel confident and comfortable in. And always, don't forget to brush your teeth. Our next don't is don't eat candy and drink Coke for breakfast. Sir, well balanced meal. Yes, sir. What are you doing? Meeting breakfast. Got school. Instead, try your best to have a well balanced breakfast. It'll make you more full throughout the day and stimulate your brain. The next don't is whenever you're in class, try your best not to be on your phone on TikTok, Instagram Reels, or even Instagram itself. It makes it so hard to focus, and you'll probably not hear a word that the teacher says. Instead, try your best to stay engaged. It helps me if I take notes and try to digest uh, you know, everything that the I teacher is saying. The next don't is don't do class in bed. You're probably going to fall asleep or you're just going to look depressed the whole time. You have to read it. You have to understand what is being asked and what you were given so that you can outline a logical you know, path from start to finish. And that's the kind of skill base that we're going to be giving you. Instead, try your best to find a mind-stimulating area in your home. I chose my desk because it mocks the in-class environment for me. Another example of molecule. And obviously, try your best not to stay up until 4 a.m. watching TikTok or YouTube. <laughs> Instead, go to bed at a reasonable hour so you'll be well rested for the next day. And if you find it hard to sleep, Pick up a really boring book. I swear, it'll put you to bed in minutes. Another don't is don't bully your classmates if they don't understand a topic. Because everybody's learning. Did they just ask what the Pythagorean theorem is? Why am I even in this class? Like, these people are so, like, not on my level. Let me just... Oh, you want to do be encouraging to your classmates. And if you know the person personally, ask them if you can help them in any way. Dang, she really isn't getting it. Maybe I should text her, see if she needs any help. Yeah, that's what I'll do. Do you need help? 
Finally, don't be discouraged if you don't understand a topic as quickly as everybody else in your class. It's so hard. I can't... How am I supposed to... How am I supposed to learn this way? Like, I don't understand. <sighs> Instead, remember that you're not alone. And in these tough times, everyone's having to learn differently and adapt. And I believe that we can get through it together. And we're back. Some great advice from some of the older students at our school. Our contestants are cleaning up the board pretty well, doing an excellent job recognizing the people who make First Colonial a great place to learn. LSA girl, the board is yours. Extraordinary extracurriculars for 800? As a smaller club within the Student Council Association, this is a great area to make a difference with and for those at your grade level, the class of 2024. Ooh, what is freshman class? You got it. More announcements will be made throughout the year about opportunities to get involved such as homecoming, special events, and officer elections. Real Beach Kid? I'll take Superb Specialist for 100. She's located in Learning Cottage 902B and is excited to help our students reach their highest academic potential as our school's gifted resource teacher. Who is Dr. Sullivan? Very good. She may come to your class, virtual or in person, sometime this year to co-teach along with your usual teacher to introduce new methods and strategies. Patriot? Familiar faces for 600. As our school improvement specialist with one of the longest track records at FC, she serves as our testing coordinator and helps to keep our school on track. Who is Mrs. Cromlin? Very good. Familiar faces for 800. She has the job of attendance secretary and runs the tardy window, but she's also known for being friendly and welcoming. Oh, I know her. Who is Mrs. Pool Boyd? Correct. Patriot policies for 400. Answer, <laughs> daily double. So, because this one has two associated items, it will be worth 800. Here's your clue. Because time spent in class is important, these two rules mean that no one should leave the room within the first or last 10 minutes, and if someone does not arrive on time, they must visit this location. Uh, okay. What is the 10 by 10 rule? And what is the tardy window? Great work. I choose awesome admin for 800. This administrator serves as the coordinator for the Legal Studies Academy and has two sons who are recent graduates of FC. Oh, I know this. Who is Mrs. Phillips? You are correct. Familiar faces for 1,000. If you are feeling ill or must take some sort of medication, you would visit Mrs. Leach and Mrs. Ostrowski here. What is the clinic? Very nice. Hope you don't have to spend too much time in there. No, no. I only go when I really need to. Totally tech for 800. Answer, daily double. This clue will have two items associated with it. Your teachers might use these tools to host virtual class meetings via video calls this fall. What is Zoom? And what is Google Meet? Great work. Totally Tech for a thousand. This is the citywide learning management system upon which all learning materials and assessment will be posted. I know this one. What is Schoology? Yes. Superb specialists for 600. These two instructional technology specialists help you and your teachers to make the most of the programs, apps, and other learning tools available to you. Who are Ms. Flack and Ms. T? Correct. They are essential in helping us navigate this new world of virtual learning. Great work, Patriot. Superb specialist for 800. If you've got a computer issue or some other difficulty with a device, she is the one you'll want to contact. Her office is room 605, our school's technology support technician. Who is Miss Peter? Correct. Extraordinary extracurriculars for 200. 
consisting of band, chorus, orchestra, and theater, these organizations offer opportunities to be involved both as an academic class and as an after-school activity. What is FC Performing Arts? Correct. Stay on the lookout for upcoming auditions, performances, and other ways to stay involved. Next choice. Extraordinary Extracurriculars for 400. Consisting of Scholastic Bowl, Forensics, Debate, and the One Act Play Festivals, these activities are also part of the Virginia High School League, or VHSL. Those are called the academic competitions. Even though they are not technically sports, First Colonial still competes against other Virginia Beach schools and schools all over the state, and has even won state, team, and individual championships in those events, particularly debate and forensics. Patriot, back to you. Patriot policies for 600. Because attendance can affect your passing status within a class, this helpful saying can help you remember to make coming to class a priority. What is the strive for less than five rule? That's correct. For a high school credit course, six or more absences results in an automatic failure for a course. However, if you have fewer than five absences, you won't be in danger of that failure. Next choice. Awesome admin for 1,000. This assistant principal is the grade level administrator for freshmen, is a graduate of North Carolina A&T State University, ODU, and Cambridge College, and is going into his 25th year of working in education. He also ran track in college as a sprinter. Who is Mr. Clark? That's right. Mr. Clark is the assistant principal for the grade level in ninth grade. He'll be with this class all four years up through senior year. Next choice. Patriot policies for 800. You should take one of these after leaving the bus or arriving at school in the morning, as well as during class changes. What are direct routes to classes? That's correct. I object. I would like to be able to hang out and socialize with friends during class changes. A lot of us live super far away. I know it's difficult to follow new rules, but we also want to keep all of our students safe and practicing that social distancing will make a big difference when schools reopen. Patriot, it's your turn again. Patriot policies for a thousand. In order to keep yourself and your classmates safe, you'll be expected to one of these throughout the school day. Oh, I know. People have to wear these when they come into the restaurant at the oceanfront. What are face masks? You are right, which brings us to our final clue. This is a place you can visit to learn more about all 83 plus activities that are offered at First Colonial High School. I got it. What is a virtual club fair page on the Class of 2024 website? That's it, Patriot. Well done. This brings us to our final Jeopardy question. Right now, Real Beach Kid and LSA Girl are tied for first place with 6,700 and Patriot in third with 5,300. You can wager your full earnings on this final question. Your clue. This song begins with cheer cheer for Patriots today, greatest of teams in little VA, and ends by exclaiming, every loyal fan will cheer us, onward to victory. Go FC. You have 30 seconds on the clock. Real Beach Kid, we'll start with you as our current winner. What did you write? Oh, close but not quite. How much did you wager? Ooh, that's a big loss since it takes you down to 500 for the night. Moving on to the LSA girl, what is your answer? Uh 
Unfortunately, that's not right either. A great song, but this one is FC specific, not the full USA. What did you wager? All right, so that leaves you with 2,700 at the end. And finally, Patriot, were you able to get it? Great work, Patriot. And how much did you put on that? Nice work. Well, it appears that the Patriot has emerged as our champion tonight. And we hope that you feel like this school year is a little less in jeopardy. Until next time, I'm Mr. Catwinkle. I'm the real beach kid, bro. I'm an LSA girl. And I'm the Patriot. Let's go FC.